From in the beginning to the musical apocalypse, this is The Bible Says What. I'm your host, Mike Wiseman. Is there objective morality? To the well-being argument, is harm as a bad thing subjective or objective? Some people enjoy harming themselves or others. They may find it to be good. Making harm a subjective thing? But objectively doing harm to yourself or others can be detrimental to you or their health. But as long as it's not terminal? What about surgery or blood draws? You're being harmed, but in a good way. I don't know. Does that cancel out the objectiveness of harm as a bad thing? There are many different takes on this argument. Where do you stand and why? Let's start the show. Is there anything in the Bible that you yourself have an issue with? <laughs> Okay, so it took you reading the Bible to realize that those things were bad for you? Yeah, it actually did. I, I didn't figure I, this out on your own? No, Ted, Ted Bundy could be redeemed. God doesn't kill children. Does, what, what do you think the Passover was? Yahweh sets up a whole system in the Old Testament where you slaughter animals just so he's able to forgive you. Today's special guest is Christian author and returning guest, David Libby. Welcome back to the show, David. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for taking the time. Remind the folks at home what you do. Well, um, I do a lot of things, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh a lot of them not related much to the topic of today's conversation, I expect. I'm a, I'm a logger by trade. I cut cut and sell uh, timber uh, for a living. That's my day job. Um, I'm also an author, written a couple of books, working on a third. There it is. Uh, very involved in uh, what we're calling uh, Worldview Night, uh, uh, something we're doing once a month up here, and um, tackle some of the hard questions. And, oh. Uh, so you know a bunch of stuff we're i'm involved in a lot of things uh, homesteading uh live right. off the grid nice. uh, i'm 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 looking at you michael uh on the screen of my on my very first computer actually. <laughs> <laughs> well congratulations uh it's, it's been, a pain in the ass and it doesn't get any easier so <laughs> oh it is i agree with you uh i've been dragged into the into the 20th century rather unwillingly mm. not to mention the 21st so <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there eventually yeah, yeah, we will. we're yeah. working on that. Man, what a, what a story, though, logging and all that. What a thing, what a thing. So what's that worldview thing you were talking about, though? What is that about? <clears throat> um, it's a it's an event we put on once a month uh, where we uh, dive into various topics, uh, philosophy, theology, uh, critical thinking, um, all kinds of stuff of that sort. And <clears throat> I'm I'm a speaker once in a great while, not, not often. You know, there's a whole... Uh, uh, you know, a whole host of different uh, speakers, uh, quite quite a lineup. Yeah. You know. Well, that's, that sounds exciting, man. That sounds like something I would love to get a, get into. You know, you need something yeah, like that you would. here. Maybe we do. I don't yeah. even know about it. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that, David. Uh, also, yeah, thank welcome. you for coming back, man. Appreciate you're welcome. It. Thank always, you for having it's me. It's always good to have the fun guests back. So appreciate you coming. <laughs> well, back. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> So last time we talked about predestination, uh, forgiveness, a bunch of other little things. Uh, David the Human was mentioned a few several times. Mm -hmm. um, but we did leave off on a bunch of questions and whatnot. And and you had a specific spot or or question on my ethics. Um, we can start there if you'd like. Um, sure, sure. So uh, I I never want to straw man someone's position. So hmm. um, if I do that, please let me know. Yeah. It's a you know it's a, it's, a, it's a bad way to argue, a cowardly way to argue. You're um, good. You're good. Only so, if you do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I will not do it on purpose. Uh, but it, it seems like um, we talked last. You you uh, said that you believe that ethics is subjective, mm. uh, but then you uh, seem to posit a, a definition which I would see as being objective. Mm. Um, you know, do uh, don't do any harm. Don't do any harm. Your, mm. your definition is that, is that correct? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Do less harm. I mean, it, we can't always do no harm. Um, yeah, I work in the veterinary field. We have to do things. It's the medical field. You know, we have to draw blood. We have to, you know, even toenail trippings are traumatic. Sometimes, oh, yeah. But they got to be done. They got to be done. Uh, yeah. So, pretty, yeah, no, that's pretty, 
no, I don't mean to digress, but that's pretty cool. I, uh, I but, love animals and, hmm. uh, I'm also an avid hunter. I don't know. Uh, some people think that's contradictory to love animals and, and hunt them, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I do, <laughs> I, I, I do love animals. And, um, as a logger, right. My uh, kids grew up with me uh, bringing home animals. Often we've raised baby flying squirrels and you know, oh, I, wow. I, I would never, I, I would never cut a tree that had animals living in it on purpose, but it happens yeah. accidentally sometimes. And, uh, well, that's we, good. We've had flying squirrels, gray squirrels, red squirrels, raccoons, skunks, uh, baby porcupine. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. We we actually did animal rehab for the state of Maine for a while. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. Nice. But anyway, we've digressed. Good work. Stuff. No, I love that. No, no, good work, man. Anybody that does good work with the animals and people, you know, I'm I'm all about that. Good job, man. Good job. Well, thank That's you. Awesome. Yeah, they're, yeah, animals are fascinating, and they're they uh, enri they enrich our lives um, a great deal, don't they? Indeed, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I surround yeah. myself with them, even the ones that scare me. I got spiders. I have spiders. <laughs> do you have any venomous <laughs> snakes? No, no, I don't do that. I, I no, no. I, I did yeah. catch a wild rattler once when I was younger, but that was about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's too much. Anyways, back to my ethics. Yes, objective. Back to ethics. Um, objectively yes it is better to do less harm so we can we okay. can agree that is a good moral to have correct well um yes i would i would say so but i i would argue that ethics is in fact objective that um and if you argue that it's subjective then you if you argue that it's subjective and then posit a you know some kind of an objective standard that you have then you've hmm. kind of put yourself on the on the horns of a dilemma haven't you you so um, I think that's the that's the key there is I I don't see it as an objective because there are people who subjectively think the opposite of that. Okay. So Does that work? Am I making sense? Well, if um uh I guess so. If if, if what you mean is that um uh there are people who uh don't agree with your objective standard that you should yes. do less harm. Yeah. Then uh I think an example that you used uh, was uh, something like, you know, how would I like it if you stuck a knife through my hand? Yeah, oh, something, something like that. Sort of, yeah, something sounds that like sort. something I would say. <laughs> yeah, and I would not like it, of course. You know, like yeah. it would, uh, it would hurt. It would inhibit yeah. my ability to do my work. But the question is, why shouldn't I put a knife through your hand or somebody else's? Because um, it would cause me pain. It would cause harm, and I wouldn't like that. But if if ethics is subjective, then what right do you have to tell me that I shouldn't do that? Um, well. Because I am in my own right. I have my own rights as a as a, a body, a person, you know, to be not stabbed. Um, but that's another rights and that's another subjective things. Or These are just made up things we've given ourselves. I mean, we're just living in a natural world and we're trying to tame it, I guess. Not tame it, but you know what I mean. Uh, separate ourselves from that, uh, the brutality of it, I guess. Just be more civil. Civility. But, trying to find that civility. So um, so again, what, what what I'm hearing you what I'm hearing you doing is you're um, claiming that ethics is subjective, but then positing an objective standard. You know why hmm. why is taming of the world you know uh, why is civility better than brutality? Now, who says? Well, yeah, I mean, and, and, let's, and, let's and, join and, a herd and, of brutal monkeys. You know, let's let's join okay. the herd of brutal monkeys versus the 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 civilized monkey civilization. Mm -hmm. Which one is going to survive or thrive? do better um quite often in nature you find that the more brutal of the ones that have a tendency to survive well, i don't know about that i mean they're brutal they're they're fighting each other they're killing each other they're stealing from each other that doesn't sound like a thriving community to me well which is why they survive because the um the uh, uh the the fittest the mm. um ones with the sharpest claws mm. and, and the sharpest teeth are the ones who Yes, I think you're mixing up thriving and 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 surviving. Thriving, I'd like to thrive. I'd like to live a good life where I'm okay, not worried okay. about my neighbor stabbing me in the hand. You know, I don't want to have to worry about people stabbing me in the hand everywhere I go. I mean, I live in Vegas, so I don't know. I don't want to touch people's hands, anyways. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> okay. So I mean, I don't have to. I don't want to have to live in that world. I don't want to have to live in a world where I have to have, you know a gun in my house because I'm afraid that somebody's going to come in and steal my kids. You know, I don't want to have to live in that world. I'm glad I live in a civilized world where that doesn't really happen all the time. It's very rare. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I uh, don't want to live in that kind of world either, but I believe in right. objective ethic where that kind of world would be objectively wrong. 
So yeah, in, well, so, so 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 I guess the point I'm trying to get to is in in a world yeah. where ethics is subjective, why is it that you get to define how the rest of us should live? You know, ah. if I, you mm. know, if, if if I decide that I want to, um, uh, you know, be a brutal person, and I mm. I uh, which I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. But but I you mean know, you're chopping logs, man. I don't know. That's pretty. That's brutal. true. I'm pretty. I'm pretty brutal <laughs> with those trees. <laughs> I, I try to. <laughs> I try to manage woodland in a very, uh, you know, well organized and beneficial way. But why do you do that? Why do you why do you try and diminish harm? Why do you try and why why, why do you care? <clears throat> what makes I, what makes David the human care? David the human cares because he's. I I believe I'm made in the image of God. I believe that you are as well. I believe what about we the squirrels, have... though? Why does David human care about the squirrels? Well, hold on. Let, let me finish that oh, yeah, answer, if you, yeah, if yeah. you don't mind it. Um, no, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so I, I I believe that we have a uh, uh, an objective ethic, ethical code um, imprinted in, imprinted within us, maybe a way to put it. Um, okay. We, or I mean, the way the Bible puts it is we have God's law written on our hearts. Um, God's I think law. That we, yeah, yeah, the moral law, you know, the uh, code of ethics. Uh, if you, um, you know, if you were to stand before God in judgment, and he were to say to you, you know, you, you uh, stole your neighbor's property and that's wrong. And if you were to defend yourself by saying, well, I didn't know that was wrong. Then he would point out that you do know what's wrong when you're the one being stolen from. Huh. Um, uh, so, uh, so why would I want to see a world where, uh, where there's, um, uh, you know, less subjugation, less, uh, suffering less brutality because i believe that that's objectively right but in a world mm. where objectives uh, where ethics is subjective excuse me for my my uh, brain getting ahead of my mouth there um, <laughs> i do it all day. A, <laughs> uh, yeah i do it all the time uh, in a world where ethics is purely subjective uh, then uh, morality is reduced to a matter of opinion right you know? but we so, can agree as a group as a herd as to what that morality should be, right? So is it is it right then for a majority to impose its will upon a minority then? Hmm. So hmm. so as so, long as the so, will is not harmful, I mean, who hmm. says? You know, why do you why do you get the right to you know play God if I can put it that way and you know impose well, your? I mean, how is it harming somebody? Let, let's get into the the nitty gritty there. I mean, I need uh, some details. Why? why <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm trying to go a little nittier, grittier than you, I think, even. Um, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, That's a I'm, challenge. I'm a, I'm a wondering why you think it's okay to, to uh, um, you know, impose this ethical standard, don't do harm, upon mm. others who maybe do want to do harm. You know, why? Right. So how is it objective if there's some people that want to do harm and think it's great? So that would be different because it's not objective anymore because that, I don't know, maybe I'm missing a point here. I'm probably missing a point here. That's okay. Let's move on. Up. Move on here. Well, no, I, I believe ethics is objective because we aren't the ones who decide what's right and what's wrong. Because we're not the ones that decide what's right and what's wrong. Correct. And how Correct. do we know what's right and what's wrong? Because it's on our hearts. Um, I, I believe that it is, but I believe that also God has revealed this to us um, in the Bible and Scripture. Um, you know, we we have a we have an objective code of ethics that's been uh, delivered to us. Uh, insider trading does does god have a code of ethics for insider trading um i'm not entirely i'm not entirely sure what insider trading is to be honest it's like you, you know something about the 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 stock market before you trade it it's like something you shouldn't be knowing that you have an inside in knowledge oh, about. gotcha so that you would have yeah, a, yeah. you would have an yeah. advantage over people who um, are on the outside well, double jeopardy does god have a, a, a rule about double je double jeopardy like you can't be charged for the same thing twice does yes have does he? Absolutely. Absolutely. Which one is that? Oh, uh, you can find it in the civil law. I, I'd have to look it up, and you know, oh. I can't give you chapter and verse right now. But yeah, 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 um, yeah. As far, as far as insider trading goes, I, I have no idea, honestly. Oh, uh, my but, point is, my point is, is God definitely hasn't thought about all these different things that could be happening, especially in the twenty first century. You know, with cell phones and computers and 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 you know, reality. He wouldn't. Uh, be able to give us any idea of what to do then. So what we you have is, a, is is some old laws. We have a bunch of old laws telling us to about you know witches, what to do with witches. You know, um, I mean, do you understand what's meant by casuistic law or apodictic law? If if not, that's fine. 
Explain to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, casuistic law is kind of like case law. Mm -hmm. It's not quite the same, but, uh, you know, for example, if your um, uh, if your uh, donkey gets loose and you know tramples your uh, neighbor's standing grain, you need to make gotcha. such restitution, right? Yeah. So, kill the so, guy that has the 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 guy the bull that killed a bunch of other people because he knew it, and yeah, that was in there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got well, you. The, I got you. Yeah, sure. But so, so so what if your you know what if your dog gets loose and you know, and digs up your neighbor's you know flower garden instead of a donkey and, and standing grain? So. <laughs> The the, the the whole point of the casuistic law, and that's the, that's the whole way the civil law was was um, composed, is uh, you give an example, mm. which that's a principle, which uh -huh. can be applied more broadly. Um, okay. So, so I I wouldn't be surprised if we could find some application to uh, insider trading, but I right I don't know where. I don't right. Know what it would so be. would would we count um, the killing of the witches as part of that law? Those laws. As 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 part of a, a casuistic law, yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. So, so 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 in other words, if somebody's engaged in witchcraft and is given the death penalty, then somebody who might be um, engaged in some other kind of you know pagan idolatry that's mm -hmm. not exactly spelled out, you know, the same principle could be applied. So I mean, right, right, right now we're just defining what casuistic law is. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, right. so there are those. So these are the laws that God put into into play. These are the casualistic laws that God wants His people to follow, at least back then. Correct. Yes. Yes. So not anymore. Yeah. Um, not necessarily. Um, oh. So, um, uh, uh, how? How detailed do you want to get an explanation? I love it law? already. Keep going, David. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I would argue that I would argue the Bible makes fairly clear that there are, are three different types of law, three aspects uh -huh. of God's law. That's what's often called the ceremonial law. Yeah, holidays, the um, you know, uh, animal sacrificial system, and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, which was for a particular purpose for a particular time. Then there's yeah. then there's the civil law, right? That's the uh, the uh, law code that you're talking about here. With uh, yeah. or both talking about with animals, you know, trampling, standing grain, mm. uh, so forth. Mm. Um, a that was a a particular code given to a particular nation for a particular time, but it's rooted in what we would call God's moral law, the code of ethics. And so it's um, okay. Thank you. That's what I was. It's rooted in God's moral law. Correct. Ooh, excuse me. That's what I would. That's rooted what I would in his say. core yeah. of ethics. Rooted in his core of ethics. Now that's a so, that's a so, statement. That's so, so if, if 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 I could if I, if I could tease all the difference there or the distinctions, Please. okay. So, I don't believe that necessarily a civil uh, government today would be bound by the civil law that was given in the Old Testament, but the principles behind yeah. that, I believe, are eternally binding. There it is. Yeah. See that that's my point. Yeah. My point. Not, my point is not so much that you guys should be following these laws. You know, not so much that. Okay. Uh, but. It's the fact that these laws existed and that mm -hmm. God thinks that they are good laws. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my issue. Number okay. one, we're, we're we've we've touched on on one of them right off the, the stoning witches. Okay. I I don't think that's a good idea. Why do you think that was a good idea to do back then? I um I think I think so because I I believe that God uh first of all knows better than we do uh what is right or wrong that's um, not the point though that... david sorry i think you missed the point there sorry let me let me let me ask that question again so why I, I didn't think... god do anything about it why did god tell his people to stone the witch when god could very easily just take the evil away from her take that that demon possession or whatever the shards it is that's causing the problem why why didn't god step in and do that and save the woman Instead of telling people to kill the woman, that, I think that's my my main point there. Um, uh, I I don't know. You know what I would be more ethically, you know, pleasing to David the human would be would it be to save the woman from the evil possession, the demon that is clearly possessing her for the evil witchery and whatnots, um, or uh -huh. have people throw rocks at her until she dies. A, a person who's engaged in witchcraft isn't doing it because some entity is making him or her do it. It's it's, oh. it's, it's a choice the person is making. Uh, so is there and demons involved? Th there may be, but 
Um, can God but get not, the demons but away it's, from it's, the person? Well, it's not demons making the person, you know, uh, be engaged in the, you know, I don't believe in a devil made me do it. You know, so can of, God uh, influence their choice? Of course, of course. Yes. So God um, chose not to influence their choice. Right. God chose to tell his people to throw rocks at them until they die. Right. Right. Which but, one is more moral? Uh, I, I'm going to have to answer that the way I was trying to answer a minute ago, which um, I don't believe was missing the point. Hmm. Uh, oh, good. Well, oh, sorry. So, <laughs> I apologize. What? Straw no, man. No, See, no. I did it. I apologize. I was not on purpose. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's fine. No, no, no. No need to apologize. But the whole um, the whole point I was um, trying to get to and the whole point that um, I, I was um, endeavoring to get to um, earlier on about uh, talking about objective versus subjective ethics is mm. uh, you or I have no right to make those kinds of moral judgments. So wh why is it that that you think you have the right to impose a moral standard upon um, the people mm. throwing the rocks, for example? You know, why is it that Michael, you know, gets to kind of play God and decide, well, you know, this isn't moral, this isn't ethical. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, I believe that in, in order for there to be a transcendent standard of ethics or an objective mm -hmm. ethic, there has to be a transcendent lawgiver. Um, you know, you or I have no right to impose a moral standard on, on each other. Um, if ethics is reduced to a matter of subject, subjective opinion, your opinion is no better than the rock thrower. Uh, your opinion is no more valid than the rock thrower. I agree. Uh, so, so, so why is it that you get to say, hey, God's not acting morally here. God's acting unethically. Um, when you have no right to make that moral judgment in the first place. David, I, I, I don't believe there's an invisible father figure telling me I don't have a right. I have an opinion, and I'm going to voice it. I may not have a right. I may not be right, but I have an opinion, okay. and I'm okay. going to voice it. Until someone tells me that do less harm is wrong, I'm going to continue to voice that opinion. And when I see people doing harm, I'm going to voice my opinion about how that is wrong. That's just... Oh. That's just what I'm going to do. I have an opinion, like everybody okay. has an asshole. We're all going to, we all have one, and we all sure, gonna, yep. we're going to voice yeah. it. That's for sure on social media or not. But that's my opinion. And when my opinion kind of goes with other people's opinions, such as doing less harm is better for the society, then we all kind of get together. And guess what? We we build laws, we build a civilization, and we we do better, and we strive, and we help each other. Kumbaya. All that shenanigans. We're not. We're not drowning puppies. We're not killing or stoning people. And we're, I don't. It doesn't make any sense on how that's a good idea and how you get your morals from this person who thinks that's a good idea. So that's that's where I'm at. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, do you understand what's involved in in things like witchcraft? Nothing. It's, okay. it's make believe, David. It's make believe. It's just make believe. Like like it, when it wasn't prayer it, no, for it, it healing was, happens. It's it's just no, it, wishful it, it, thinking. It, 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 it actually was not make believe that people who were engaging in that sort of thing were burning their children alive to Molech. Well, Bob. that may be, but they were killing children. <laughs> never mind, never mind. But yes, okay, but, but that did not so, make a difference. No, it did not make a difference. But these people no. believed in that God. Just like when people believe in a certain God and, and, and blow themselves up. It's the same thing. Sure. It's the same thing. So, yeah. but, but okay, so that shouldn't be punished then. You know, burning your children alive, the Molech shouldn't be punished. There shouldn't be. There should be no uh, civil uh, uh, sanction against that. Do you, do you, so okay. You, so my problem come. My problem comes when God in the Old Testament says He not only punishes, He doesn't punish the parents. He punishes the kids. He slaughters the children. That's what. That's my problem. When Hosea, when he comes in, he, they were worshiping another god, witchcraft. They're worshiping another god, maybe sacrificing two or three of their kids to this god. Hell, maybe ten of them. So what happens? God gets mad. What's God do? He kills all their kids. I will slay your cherished offspring. He starves some of them. I, um, I, it's not good, David. These aren't good ideas. These aren't moral, ethical concepts. I mean, these aren't things that a good guy would come up with. Um, I, I don't necessarily agree with you. I, I don't think you're understanding quite what was going on. Uh, you know, there, there are a number so of So is it okay if – that's okay. Let's, let's, let's tackle that point then. If this well, village – Can I just finish, finish what I was saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, 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 don't, don't forget your thought. Don't, I won't. Don't lose I'm, I'm going to write it down. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, write it down. But uh, 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 
there are various places um, in Ezekiel and elsewhere where uh, it's made very clear that that the uh, children don't die for the sins of the parents. So um, if the children are uh, being executed along with the parents, then you've got uh, children who are engaged in the same kind of crimes. Uh, I mean, we, 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 I'm not prepared with, with a bunch of text to no, you're it. fine. I, I just it's it's very obvious that God kills children out of jealousy. He says so in Exodus 20, verse five, Exodus 34, verse seven, Deuteronomy five, nine, Exodus, lots of places, lots okay. of places. He kills children. He punishes them for the sins of their parents. So I, I, I got to go with what it says. One, two, three, four, five, six times. In the Bible, can so, you can you show me those verses? I'll, I'll, I'll Exodus twenty verse five. Actually, let's go with uh, where's this numbers? Numbers. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, we'll go back to Exodus twenty verse five. I like that one better. Yeah. <laughs> Exodus twenty verse five. I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of their fathers. Yeah. We we look at the Passover. That's what happened in the Passover. The firstborn died because their parents didn't put blood on the door. That's what happened in the flood. Their parents didn't worship the right God, so, so they were evil, so all the kids had to die. So we see God punishing the kids throughout the Bible. Sure, but but what, what makes you think these kids are not guilty themselves, I guess, is my point, my question. What are they guilty of, David? Do you, do you believe that children can't be guilty? My understanding is that children are innocent. What's your understanding of children? I have had children. I can tell you they're not innocent. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, children can be assholes. That's 100%. But children are innocent. I don't understand. What are they guilty of? Um, it, the um, In the text you're referring to, I believe they're guilty mm. of the same thing the parents are guilty of. Not putting um, the blood on the door? The, the, uh, during the Exodus, during the, the Passover. Sure, right. Uh, so Pharaoh's kid. Sorry, I'm going to go David and Bathsheba's kid. God killed it. He struck it with a sickness for seven days before ooh, sorry, before it died. They, he right. made that kid suffer. Was that kid evil or, or bad in some way? Um, I don't I, I don't believe that child suffered long. And I believe the child suffering seven ended days. when the child. Yeah. Sure, but seven days is not a very long time compared to uh, eternity. And I don't care uh, how long you make a child suffer for before you kill it. I'm going to have a problem, David. Mike the human is going to have an issue with you causing suffering for a child before you kill it. I mean, period. Don't kill the child. Then don't make it suffer on top of it. That's monstrous. That's not ethical. That's not more. That's not where we get our morals from, David. That guy didn't write crap on my heart that says killing kids is bad. The guy that kills kids did not write on my heart killing kids is bad. That's, that's, well, that's weird. That's weird. The, 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 the guy who kills kids. Oh, you're talking about God. God killing yes. kids. Writing on your He's a documented yeah. child killer, David. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, so you're, you're not going to like what I would say in response to that. I don't I'm going to love it, David. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, don't think you, I don't think you are, but uh, I, I, I know how hard this sounds, but I, I, I do mm. believe people are depraved by nature, and I don't believe that anybody... Uh, deserves God's grace and mercy. Uh, the fact that some people receive it is is uh, profoundly gracious and merciful. But uh, I weird. believe that people yeah. are. Uh, I, I I do believe in the doctrine of original sin, which you probably are familiar with. The original uh, sin, uh, 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 Adam and Eve, and all that. That that we were that, that when Adam and Eve fell, we were, you know, henceforth born with a depraved nature. I see evidence of that in my own experience with who human set that experience. up. Who made it that way? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Who made it that way so that when Adam and Eve said, everybody else would have the same disease? Who made it that uh, way? It, uh, Who set up the I believe, world that way? I I I uh, I know what you're getting at. You're you're talking about the uh, you know the guy that created it, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So he set but, this in motion. He wanted this to happen. He could have had it any way he wanted, literally, any way he wanted. But this is how he chose for it to go. This is what he wanted. He wanted Adam and Eve to sin and uh, everybody to have a disease for the rest of their lives. He wanted this to happen, David. I'm he not put sure the he did, tree actually. there. He created the trees 
Mm -hmm. put the trees there, created the rules, created the consequences. How is it not everything he wanted? This is everything he wanted. I it doesn't make any true. sense, David. It doesn't make any sense. Then why did he put the trees there, David? Uh, I I don't believe that God's foreordination means... But why did he, he is... put the trees there, though? Because there, there's, there's no other explanation, though. Unless you can figure out why he put those trees there and make a good reason, other, then he knew. He knew exactly what he was doing. I, I believe he did know, yes. Yeah. Um, why did he put the trees there? I can't answer that question. I don't believe that you can either. No, you, well, he had to set something in motion. He needed an original sin, David. So he set the trap, and the trap was a tree. To set the trap completely, he lifted the skirt and let the snake in to convince them. He knew exactly what was going to happen. He made the most cunning creature. And he did it on purpose, and he let him in to talk to his people. And he knew exactly what he was going to say to them, and he knew exactly what they were going to do once he did it. But the the, the other issue I have is the curses that he dished out afterwards. If, you, if when's the last time you looked at those? Were those okay with you? Um, the, the, are you talking about in Genesis? Or? Yeah, the curses he he did when they disobeyed him that he knew in, it was going to happen because he put the trees there. Three. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely okay with that. Um, yes. Okay. See, Explain. I, I think. Well, um, I believe that God's word makes very clear that God is not the author of sin. Uh, that's well, who that's created sin. Isn't God the creation creator of everything? Uh, sin is not a created thing. Sin, is, you know, sin is not a you know, well, sin is an action. Sin is an action or an absence from action. You know, sin is mm -hmm. omission, commission. But uh, so God knew it's, sin it's, was going to be a thing because He created consequences for sin. Uh, hmm. So well, God set it, uh, sin. So God knew sin was going to be there. So He set things in motion. <laughs> Again, He still has. God hates sin. God could have yes. created a world without sin, right? I believe so, yes. Why didn't he? I have no idea. Doesn't but make any I don't sense. That, I, I don't believe that either you or I are competent to answer that question. You know what? Uh, well, I can tell you it doesn't make sense, though, David. We, we can both, as Mike the human and David the human, look sure, at it and go, sure. this makes no sense. Um, I don't think we can, actually. Yes, uh, we can. David, would you put a poison in the room of your children? Uh, he did not put a poison in the room of his children. Uh, the tree is poison. You know, the tree poisoned humanity for eternity, apparently, until he saves them with magic blood. But the, the tree poisoned humanity, did it not? The sin, the action that came from that tree being put there. But he's not the one who, who made them sin. You know, He's uh, the one that put it there. Had, he knew. We, oh, David, 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 David. He had to be the, the one that made them sin. He has so, to. So it's him. You, it's so, all him. He's the okay, puppeteer. Well, no, he's not the puppeteer. That's, that's oh, David. Totally, that's totally incorrect. So, Michael, if you if if somebody puts a gun on your on your uh, uh, desk beside you and uh, you decide mm. to uh, shoot you, you decide to shoot your wife. Uh, do you, are you married? Do you have a wife? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you decide to shoot your wife with this gun. Uh, did okay. the one that put the gun there make you do it? Did the one that put the gun there make me do it? Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, now, if the guy that put it there knew what I was going to do with that gun, would it be his fault? I, um, if the guy who put it there knew what you would do with it, would it be his fault? 1,000%. Mm -hmm. um, in a court of law, you would be judged. You would be sent to jail as well. You gave him the weapon knowing exactly what he would do. That's kind of like premeditated at that point. God premeditated sin. God premeditated the fall of man. God premeditated all of this. This is all his plan. This is what he wants. He wanted the I, fall no, of man. Then why no, do you let I, the snake in there? Why no, do you let I, the don't snake? Believe, I don't believe that's true. That's a lot of conjecture. And I don't believe that you or I are, are confident. Then why to... did he let the snake in there? He didn't have to let the snake in there, David. Did you know that? He could have kept sure, the snake out. He could have not created the snake to begin with. And Adam mm -hmm. and Eve would have been fine. Uh, uh, unless he wanted something different, unless he wanted a different reaction, unless he wanted a different course, and he had to change it somehow. So he had to throw in some kind of curveball, and that curveball was the snake. Uh, it could be, could yeah. be. Um, so God but, set you know, his plan in motion, but you're, but you're, you're, you're kind of, and then he gets mad. The point, you're, you're kind of making the point that I've been trying to make, yeah. uh, and and that is that you 
really don't know and, and your indulgement. Yeah, no, I don't. I just go no, on. Dude. All I have is the Bible, David. It's all I got to go off of. His story, his sure, words, right. apparently, you know. I mean, this is – and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like as a as a rational human being, well, semi rational most times, not all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> as a rational yeah. human being and a decent father figure, you know, decent, decent. I, I don't see this as a good thing. I don't see this as something I would look, look, do and tell my kids. Hey, I'm the center of morality. Watch me do all of these ridiculous things that don't make any sense to you. That seem bad. Like okay, so the curses. Why why would he cause women to be painful during childbirth what good reason would he have to do that uh because the woman uh rebelled against him and fell into sin in the garden uh so your kids rebel against you you cause them pain for their rest of their natural lives uh i don't know if that's a particularly good analogy honestly uh he caused pain for women for the rest of their natural lives did he not right Right. But, right. But, but, so, but the, but as the, a father, analogy, would you do that? Um, that's that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think you've got right. a very good analogy there. You're, 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 David you're, the you're, human. Would David the human do this? Yeah. Hold on, Michael. Just please, please. Sorry. Let me go ahead. A, Sorry. A <laughs> uh, the uh, you, you're, you're making a comparison between an earthly father and an, and an earthly child. Uh, yes. Rather than you know, that's rather all than, I have to compare with David. Sure, but that's that's a bad comparison. Why? Uh, God. Because God is a God is a transcendent being, which is but we are uh, earthly not a beings, human being. And that's what we're talking about, David. Uh, huh? We're, we're earthly beings. We're talking about how this works for us. I we're not no, talking no, about Superman or no, 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 hold people. on, no, no, none of that. No, hold on, we don't care. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to finish a thought. I'm if, sorry. If Go ahead. Mind. I'm sorry. No, no, Go that's ahead. okay. Yeah, you're, uh, you're getting me all flustered here. No, 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 no problem. <laughs> uh, the what we have what we have with human rebellion against God is not the same thing as a child, you know, needing a spanking. Uh, you know, human rebellion against God is is a cosmic treason, um, and I, I I don't believe that He's unjust in the curses that we find in Genesis chapter three. I'm going to say, um, who cares, David? I'm going to say, who cares if we we okay. we make this guy angry? Like it's the same thing with with. My dad, if I, I made him so mad that he wanted to curse me for a long time, I said, we can't earthly see. I can't, I cannot comprehend this, this, this relationship you have with this deity and how it, it exceeds the natural reason. I don't get it. it just, I can't, man. Okay. So how about this? How okay. about this? Okay. All how right. am I supposed to get rid of that block? How am I supposed to get rid of, I wrote this down the other day. Let me see if I can comprehend what I wrote. Okay. How yeah. am I supposed to get rid of the moral block? That keeps me from worshiping this documented child killer. How am I supposed to get rid of that block, David? Because my my rationality and my common sense says this this is not a good idea. This doesn't add up. I wouldn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. So how do I get rid of that that block? There's, there's something blocking me from wanting to worship this documented child killer. How how can I? think he's a great guy what what is it that's that's what's my problem here uh do you do you ever read any other uh, uh scripture other than you know do you do you, do you just handpick hmm. the uh you know the curses and the and oh, i've read the whole bible david yep read okay. the whole bible okay so you're not at all impressed by god's patience or his, not his, even his remotely kindness? he's okay patience david absolutely Patience. Absolutely. Well, can you point to his patience? Let's let's, oh, let's most tackle definitely. that. One point. Show me his patience. Most definitely. Um, if you uh, read the uh, account of the Old Testament, uh, Israelite nation after the Exodus, uh, through the Book of Judges, and then into you know First and Second Samuel's and times of the kings, it's it's when a, he killed a, people a, like for no, not no, listening no, to him. No, That's not patience. No, 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 no. Please let, let me. He finish killed the, the kid. No, David. No. Just let me go finish ahead, the thought, ahead, if you don't go mind. Go uh, so, wh what I see is not, yeah. What what you seem to see is a god who has temper tantrums, and you know people step out of line, it. and they. I okay, read well, it. That's, and that's what it says. That's what it says. No, you did, not, David. No, that's not at all what it says. What what you see in what you see in the Old Testament history is is a people who, uh, have been have been treated graciously by him, but yet they are. 
constant idolaters. It's not it's not a matter of them stepping out of line. It's a matter of them you know, living in constant rebellion. And uh, whenever he uh, delivers them, they you know they um, you know give lip service for a very short time and fall right back into uh, you know a, a state of total rebellion. So hmm. I, I marvel at his patience and grace. I would have I would have eliminated them. You know, probably day one. Hmm. Um, I, I can't. He imagine. did. He eliminated the whole planet. Remember, <laughs> that was like chapter seven. <laughs> that was that was long. So that was he long waited before. seven chapters before he eliminated everybody. A little bit longer well, no, than you would have. <laughs> uh, probably, yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 I marvel at the patience of God. I don't believe that, David. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't think he would have I'm eliminated sorry. everybody. I don't think well, he would have. Um. Well, you might be surprised. Well, uh, I might be surprised, but as of right now, I don't think you would have done that. I don't think uh, David the Human would have eliminated all those people or killed kids. I wouldn't. Uh, you can't even cut down a tree with a squirrel in it, David. Come oh, on, yeah. come on. That's fine. Um, That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I disagree I, there. Do, 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 do you do you agree with the death penalty? Ooh, I love that question. I do in some sentences, some uh, situations. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Pol Pot, kill that guy. Uh, yep. Hitler, okay. kill that guy. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I think I talked was it with you or somebody else. Like, there's, there's a death count. Maybe I'd be okay with the death penalty. Like, if you killed over a certain amount of people, or if it was like so grotesque in a certain way, then the death penalty. I mean, just different levels of it. But of course, there'd have to be evidence and a non-corrupt court, and those are always fun and difficult. But yeah, that's what that's where I'm at. So yes okay. and no, David. Yes and no. Sorry, long answer. Long answer. Okay, well, um, I yeah, but that's fine. That was that was a good answer. Uh, <laughs> I uh, certainly do agree with the death penalty, um, hmm. and uh, I don't believe that. Again, back to objective versus subjective ethics. I don't believe that you or I have the right to define the parameters for that. Who um, else can we so- get to do it though, David? You're you're okay. Uh, don't look. No offense, but your invisible mm-hmm. guy. He's nowhere. He does. He's not here telling us to do anything. He's not giving us any kind of guidance except for stone witches and love your neighbor. It's really hard to do when my neighbor's a witch. It's 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 doesn't make any sense for me. So we have to do this. We have to take matters into our own hands. We have to do this. We have to figure out what is right and how can we do that? Less harm. Okay, so let's let's build on that. Once we start building on less harm, wow, look at all these things we can do. Look at all these things and these laws and. David, it just it's natural. It's it just makes it's common sense. We're gonna evolve into this society. And here we are. We don't need the child killing documented guy to tell us how. Well, um, I would have to respectfully disagree. If you um, I love it. Do it. <laughs> if you if you have a uh, if you have a a uh, ethical standard that is uh, entirely mm-hmm. subjective and you uh uh, yeah. If you uh, think if, if problems you think you arise, right to... yeah. uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Problems arise. Yes, no, hundred percent. Jim uh, Jones, uh, you know that guy? Uh, who? Jim Jones? That? Uh, oh yeah, I remember Jim Jones. But you know what, yeah. what I was going to say? If, 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 you a, if you have a subjective ethical standard and you think that you can impose that upon other people, then uh, how are you not doing harm to them? You know, for example, if I are they being harmed by it, David? Sure. Yeah. If I'm if, if I'm how? Adolf Hitler and I and, and I believe that or, or Pol Pot mm-hmm. and uh, I believe that uh, the um, ultimate society, the ultimate culture would be uh, a culture uh, free from all these useless eaters and people who I think uh, wouldn't contribute to my own uh, happiness, right. my own empire. But how is uh, that harming you, though? Well, because if you. Tell me if, if you if you raise armies to stop me, as as was the case in World War Two, uh-huh. then uh, you know you're 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 stepping on my you know utopic my ethical utopic right uh, right vision. because so, your so, ethic so, utopic is harming people, so I'm going to step in and stop you. Yes, sure, no, but now you're harming percent. me. Right, and, and, I have and to, what, I have to to stop well, you from I, harming other people. That's how that works. That's how that works. Well, then, uh, uh, so you have this arbitrary uh, ethical standard where. You know, harming other people is seen as being bad. Therefore, you uh, stop me from living my own personal yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, jail you up, lock you up. You're you're a mass killer, man. That's not how it works. You got a you're okay. not, you're a danger to society. So, a, in my society, but, but, in this see, great world where we do less harm to each other, you're no, a see, but, plague to society, and you need to be removed from society. Well, but if see, there now, was a planet see, I could put you on, I totally would. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. 
yeah, but see now you're now you're a danger to my society. You know, I've, I've got a I've got plans for a master race. Right, but you're uh, doing harm to um. See, that's where that number comes in. You're doing harm to more people. Mm, yeah, who, I like that. Why? Like that. Why? why genocide. You know, why, genocide why the, is doing harm to more people. Sure, sure. Why the arbitrary standard? You know, why? Why do I have to? The good of um, the many outweigh the good of the one. You heard of that? Um, what if the um, what if the one disagrees? Yeah, you know, you know, what, what if what if what if you know, wh wh why, why does the majority have a right to impose its will upon the minority? Right, we're going back to the do less harm thing. It, it, it all goes back to the do less harm, though, David. And and we can all agree that that's a good idea, right? We can all agree that doing less harm is a good idea. So it is, I'll even go objective on that. Let's go objective. <laughs> that's an objective thing. Does God obey his own law? Um, absolutely. No, he flooded the whole planet and killed all the puppies, kittens. And babies. He didn't save anybody except for seven people that, wow, good job, man. Way to drown the whole world. No, he doesn't do the best. He doesn't do less harm. David, in that situation, let's go with the, the Passover. Okay? Let's just go with that. The uh, Your people, your people are locked up. They're, they're in prisons. They're being enslaved. They're being beaten by the pharaoh and the leaders of that, that country. What do you do? You have anything you can do. You can do absolutely anything. What would you do? What, what would I do? David the human. What would David the human do? Uh, I don't see how that's relevant, honestly. Damn it, David. It's 100% relative. Just play along. I, what would David the human do? If my people were being subjugated and yes. brutalized. And, uh, yes, and the leaders of it were doing it, what would you do? The, the leaders... Uh, my 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 mind was wandering. Can you, can you go over that again? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, no. Okay, so we're going to the yeah. Egypt story, right? Remember, remember the uh, Egypt uh, story, the the, the Passover. I'm, I'm going to pay attention this time. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. <laughs> so the Passover, and you were yeah. you're you're playing the guy who can save your people. Your people so are locked up. Moses? They're enslaved, right? You have all the powers in the world. You're a superhero. You've 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 absorbed everybody. You're like like rogue but you've like absorbed all the superpowers and then then you can do anything you want to save your people what would you do what would you choose to do to get your people out of that situation so you're putting me in the place of god then is that correct my no i just your... said rogue with all the superpowers pay attention david so how... rogue, you're, you're a superhero who has all the superpowers you can do anything you want your very thoughts are actions now what would you do to save your people i'm Failing to see how that's relevant. How would you cut down? The, would you cut down the tree with all the squirrels in it, David? Would you take the baby squirrels and slice them in half, or would you no. avoid the tree, or would you knock the tree over to get all the squirrels out of it so you can free your people? I mean, come on, David. David the human. This is an easy one. This is an easy one, David. What would you do? It's uh, a fun one. It's an. It's a fun, easy one. What well, would you do? It, it, I, I'm a little confused because you, uh, I'm, David. I'm, I'm, okay, so this is what I would do. I would change well, no. the pharaohs locks all into butterflies and then i would change his chariot wheels into butter so he couldn't chase after them would i slaughter kids in their bed david no would you slaughter kids in their bed david so no. who uh no nope the answer is no so hold on so, so i'm trying Say to pause no. now you you you're, you're likening me to god then. no you are a superhero with a bunch of powers Forget the idea of God. We're, I know it's hard. We're in this in this concept, in this scenario, we're forgetting the idea of God. And you are a superhero with a bunch of powers that can do anything you want. You even your very thoughts are actions. What would you do to save your people, David? Uh, I I don't know. I I I I try to keep my um, mind in reality. I, I'm not a superhero with superpowers, you, David. David. You you have a long distance relationship with an invisible father deity. Okay, but you can't just role play for a second there. Uh, not really. No, that's okay. No. That's okay. But uh, yeah. again, David, my choice would be not to slaughter the kids, and I feel that your choice would also be the same: not to slaughter so, the kids. So, so what 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 kids are you referring to here? The kids who who the Egyptian kids David, the firstborn born... of Egypt. Remember that okay. story of the Passover, David? I do. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Where he killed the kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what I'm talking about here. That's okay. okay. That's okay. <laughs> 
Dave, that's okay. Okay, I kind of we're, we're getting close here, but I do want to okay. ask you uh, uh, some more questions. I, I do have some more. Sure. How do you feel about religion in government and schools? Religion in government and schools. Yeah. Um. So what? religion are you referring to is that well, religion? any religion period well i mean for for instance would you, i will ask specifically what what do you okay. feel about christianity in schools and uh, uh the government i believe that uh, the government has an obligation uh, um given to them by god you know romans hmm. 13 to uh, govern according to his precepts oh and so i would i would have them do it I, I would have them govern that way is that how you interpret that verse yeah. I love it. Romans yeah. 13, 1, I think it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it. I can, mm. Hold on. I can, I can find I out for you. Grab your Bible. I'm going to grab mine and knock over a bunch of superheroes. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you do yours. 13, 1, I believe it is, where God actually ordains or uh, established the authority that's in place right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so God has actually established the authority in place, regardless of who it is. That's what I get out of that verse. Well, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, but the the ordination uh, point I was trying to get to earlier, but yeah. you know, we got sidetracked. Is that ordination and authorship are not the same thing? Ordination and mm -hmm. um, coercion are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, God is certainly able to, you know, ordain, you know, whatsoever comes to pass without violating the free wills of, of uh, people and that sort of thing. So the um, government's having been ordained by God does not mean that he approves of what they're doing or approves of how they're governing. And... All established authority, though. What, yeah, let's read that verse. I would, I'm, I'm curious. Now. Sure. I'm very okay, curious. Yeah. yeah, verse one is, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there's no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. There Therefore, is. whoever resists... The authorities oh, that exist are appointed by God. Right. What do you think that? How do you take that? Um, I would see that as as um, falling under the uh, under the um, uh, um, larger umbrella of God's sovereignty and God's you know foreordination. Um, but the but the text right. goes on. If I if, if I were to read on, it talks about the uh, civil authorities being God's minister for righteousness. You know, he right, doesn't but, bear the sword. We're going to go right back to that second part there, where it says he has. What was the wording again? The verbiage sanctioned all of the the authorities or. So, well, yeah, grab my Bible. Um, I gotta do it. I have to do there's it. no authority there except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, there it is. Whoever resists... the, the authorities that exist are appointed by God. So we're going to mm -hmm. keep going back to that, regardless okay. of what happens next. We're going to go back to they're appointed by God. So if they're evil, are they appointed by God, or are they yeah, only the appointed sense... by God unless? Go ahead. Sorry. Well, appointed in the sense of ordination. You know, appointed. You know, God's a sovereign God who. Uh... Uh, his, you know, ordained whatsoever comes to pass, I believe. Uh, this doesn't mean that he is uh, responsible for their wickedness or, or their evil. Uh, no, no, but so, he, he's he's established these authorities in, in place. He put them okay. in place for a reason. So if they're bad, he's got a reason for it. Is that what I'm getting out of it? Is it, is it, is it okay? I, I believe is that, that is thing? true. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. I, I so... So in the, the case of, I'm just going to go to Hitler, his favorite people are the Israelites. Why would he establish Hitler in authority? So I'm wondering why you think his favorite people are the Israelites. Well, he says that. They're his favorite people. So we have in the Old Testament um, the uh, choice of God by the Israelite, of the Israelite, Israelite nation out of the other nations as his favorite people. Yeah, uh, see? <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> but right but you know let's 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 um uh, flush this out a little more if you don't mind yeah the uh remember I talked earlier about the different aspects of God's law the ceremonial civil moral yeah 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 so we have uh I believe taught very clearly in Scripture that the uh, the uh, choosing of the Israelite nation was was um you know big fancy word typological oh, do you understand oh, what that oh, word means oh, yeah yeah yeah. So the region. So what was the typological? It's, it's like a it's like a living metaphor. Oh, sorry. Um, totally got so, that wrong. Yeah. So so what we have, <laughs> uh, what we have is a picture of of uh, typographical. Uh, 
Is that what I'm thinking? I think that's what I'm thinking. No, oh, sorry, maybe so. Like, yeah. You, you yeah. Might, yeah, you might have been topographical, right? Right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I don't I don't believe that God's people have ever been Israel. God's people have been his, you know, his elect, his um, you know, those who select uh, group. Sure. Yeah, those who truly yeah. follow him. Not uh, necessarily the Israelites. Correct. Correct. So just followers. Right. So his favorite people are people that love him. Yeah. Convenient. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, this this is going to go another hour at least, but we got to end it here. I I, I love this. Okay. This is a blast. Okay. We're going to come back to number three. We're going to continue on this story. I love it. Thank you, David, so much. Where can we find you again? Well, thank you, Michael. Thanks for the opportunity. Um, yeah, of course. Where can you find me again? I guess the um, Amazon or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hard to find. Don't give your email address or something. I guess if you're comfortable with it. <laughs> well, I did last time. You seemed kind of I shocked know. by that. <laughs> I still I, am. I, I still am. I, I haven't been harassed by anybody, so good. Uh, good. But uh, I'm I'm a real old fashioned, anachronistic, low tech kind of guy. So, you know, if we were to find me, I could give my address. I could give, uh, no, I could tell you how to... no. where can we find your stuff, your book? And, and, and yeah. <laughs> okay. My, 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 my book is on Amazon hmm. and, uh, the best way to find it is look up my name, David Libby and the name of the book, a different world. And there uh, people who know how to do that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, say it's really easy to find, but <laughs> you know, I, I don't know how to do that sort of thing. I'm, that's okay. My my my, my idea of, of high tech is is a good rifle or a, or, or a good chainsaw. Love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, at least at least we'll be able to find you, and they can look up the other episode too, and and, and get a little more information from that one. Um, but David, thank you so much. This has been a blast. Uh, keep saving uh, saving squirrels. I can talk today. Uh, we'll keep in touch. And we'll do this again sometime, man. Okay, sounds later. good. Yeah, anytime. Reach out anytime, Michael. So yeah, thank you. Absolutely, man. All right. Have a good night. You too. That's all the show there is for you today. Thanks for listening. As always, you can find all things BSW related on the show's website at thebiblesayswhat.com. If you like what you heard and want to help keep the recording light on, simply go to thebiblesayswhat.com and sign up to be a supporter of the show. Your episodic tithes of a dollar or more will get you early access to each new episode on Wednesdays instead of Sundays. And no matter which platform you use to listen to your podcasts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the next episode. Until then, would you kindly share and review the show? Next time when the Bible says what? They weren't ready to accept that he was anybody. All they could see was this is a carpenter son. We knew him when Did, he was a little oh, teenager. Man. They they yeah. saw him. They didn't see him as capable. I don't see him trying hard enough. Apparently, I mean, he's the all knowing God. Well, son. you were you were you should know. You were, what will convince were, the town, right? <laughs> you were there, so you saw it happen. So that's. I'm just saying they that. didn't convince the town, so he must not have tried very hard. He convinced other towns. Well, his hometown, he couldn't convince. Jesus couldn't convince his hometown that he was magical or whatever. You know, he he didn't he didn't try to force himself on anybody. Well, that's not what I see. <laughs>